Hey there everybody, this is Coach Rob again with Hotshot Sports. I have got my trusty putter back again today for another tutorial. And what I wanted to make mention of today was the concept between two different types of putts, okay? So, if I had a target that was what I would say more of a normal putt, maybe anywhere from four to even a long one in most of our books, that'd be 15 feet, what I like to do is develop a backswing, backswing in quotation marks, that will almost mirror the same speed that I'm going to progress through the ball with. Now it's always important that you don't just deaden the hands right when you make contact with the ball. That's the first thing I would say, okay? So again, we're talking about one of these shorter putts where you can either go back and then mirror what you've done on your backswing or another kind that you can consider is a concept called 25-75. So, the reason that a lot of people don't like or don't use a really long, exaggerated backstroke like that is because it almost makes it more difficult for the club face to stay perfectly square to the ball, right? The longer you have that thing suspended in the air, there's a chance it might just go off kilter a little bit or it might be too lofted or too de-lofted, okay? The concept of 25-75 means you're gonna go back 25% of the rest of the 75 it takes you to progress through the ball. That shortens the backswing and keeps the club face more square after your setup, okay? I personally, I really like to feel that pendulum motion in my arms and think that my back trailing arm is really pushing through the ball after contact, okay? So those are a couple things you can think about. The last thing I wanted to make mention of, this is whenever you're getting to some obscenely long putts. It's a concept called lag putting, okay? The difference would be, I'm trying to control everything in my preferred way to putt to stay the same. However, once you get to these really huge, like 50 plus yard, or sorry, 50 foot plus putts, you wanna try and get a really, really solid stroke on the ball and have that always remain the same, all right? So if it's a 50 foot putt, if it's a 60 foot putt, the way that you attack going forward is always the same speed. It's gonna take a lot of repetitions to ingrain that in your body, but the, vari the variable becomes how far back your club goes before you use that same strength. And that takes a lot of repetition you might get to a point where you realize maybe just pass your toe with the speed that you want. See, I'm really taking off on the way forward. Just pass the toe, that might be 40 feet. Then you realize if you have a 60 footer, you need to go back almost maybe twice as much as that while maintaining the same speed on the follow through, okay? So that's a little bit of a help to put in perspective how the putt needs to change when you get really, really far away but how you can still maintain one aspect of the, of the putt that's going to be what you can lean on. If each time you get up there, you're adjusting how far back and how hard you stroke the ball, your lag putting is gonna suffer. So keep those things in mind next time you grab a putter, keep working at it, and good luck.